And we're back. This is Business Rockstars. Let's go now to Mark Lack. We're here to inspire, inform, and connect a community of entrepreneurs. Joining us right now is Nicholas Barely. He's the CEO of The Billion Dollar Body. It's a pleasure to have you on the show, brother. Dude, I'm so glad to be here. Finally, we're face to face. Finally on in the an show, brother. I love it. <laughs> So the billion dollar body, break it down for us. What are you guys doing? So we help male entrepreneurs and business owners look and feel like a billion bucks. That's simply what it is. We do health and fitness for the busy entrepreneur okay. to make sure that they can achieve more in their business, their relationships in life. So like I feel like most businesses, you either create it for a lifestyle and maybe out of a problem that you've wanted to solve in your own life, um, or you create something with the intention of growing it and scaling it. I feel like based on what I know from you, you have a unique story and journey of how you went through some health struggles. And I feel like that's probably what inspired this business. Tell yeah, absolutely. That. I mean, even from health as a young age, uh, I, at five years old, I decided I wanted to be a professional motocross rider. Mm -hmm. And that was my number one goal. And I had no goal of going to school or getting a job or any of these things. My own number one focus was on that. And so right around 12 years old, um, something happened that was pretty crazy in my life. And uh, I had a really good connection with my dad. My dad and I did all the motocross racing together. And so that was like my lifeline. Uh, but my parents split up when I was five. And so I was already torn into two places. Yeah. And then by the time I hit seven years old, I had written my first suicide letter. So like I had so many different problems going on emotionally, mentally at this time in my life. And then right around 12 years old, I had to like cast out a line of someone to support me because I wanted to give up on everything. But the only dream I had was to be a professional motocross rider. And so if that failed, I had nothing else left in my entire yeah. life. My life was over at 12. And so what happened was I, was I was talking to my dad. I still remember it to this day. I walk out of my room and I was following my dad down into the garage, out into the back patio where we used to hang out and talk. And that was like our guy time. And I'm walking down three steps into the garage. And I'm like, Dad, I want to be the best. I want to be the best in the world at motocross. And just trying to go, come on, tell me that I can do it. Tell me, believe in me. And he turns around, and in that particular moment, he says, you'll never be the best. Mm. And it just crushed me. And I ended up gaining 60 pounds over the course of the next three years and gave up on everything in my life. Wow. So having a parent support you or not support you is one of those moments where it can send you in a t completely different direction. And it did that to you. My question, though, is I know who you've become today. And like many of the people that come through these doors that have had something happen in their lives that could hold them back and limit them, you, at some point, had a light bulb moment that triggered something inside you to push through, to get in great shape, to make money, and to impact people around the world. What was that? When did that light bulb moment happen for you? So I'm going through high school, and I'm noticing, holy crap, I'm starting to gain some weight, yeah. right? Like, this is, this is not going down the right trail. I started hearing my parents actually fighting about me, my stepdad and my mom, having fights about how overweight I was getting, right? I'd gained 60 pounds by the time I was 16, almost turning 17 years old, but I, I would just take that and I would just try to starve myself. And I didn't know what to do and I'd give it up on everything. I'd started my first business when I was 12. My dad always told me if he just had a weed whacker and a lawnmower, he would always be able to make it. Even if his business failed, he could always make yeah. it. So that's what I did. But after gaining the weight, I couldn't touch it. I was like, I'm too embarrassed. I couldn't put myself out there. My self-esteem was low. I never had a girlfriend all throughout high school. And so there was a bunch of things that happened because of this lack of self-esteem that I had. And all of a sudden I go to school and I'm wearing the same sweatshirt that I wear every single day, trying to cover myself up because kids would always make fun of me. And one kid brings out this bag of colorful stuff. And I was like, what is that? And he goes, oh, it's fruit. <laughs> and at this point, my mom had never bought fruit before. We would eat literally yeah. mini corn dogs, potato skins every single night. And what had happened at that moment is I said, why did you bring fruit to school? Because, you know, we don't. Yeah, yeah. You eat big cinnamon rolls and Especially chocolate Especially back milk. then, there was no health trend. So. None. And he said, I'm a fighter, and my coach put me on a plan so that I could weigh in at the correct weight so that I can fight optimally. Mm. And I just went, I tied performance with health. I went home, changed everything right there. I never talked to that kid again. Mm. And I lost 53 pounds in six months. And that's what propelled me forward and allowed me to get confidence again, to start stepping out, to start taking risks, and then attract my wife, who I've now been married to for four and a half years, and then start my first business again with her. Such an incredible story. And it's so amazing how certain things will trigger us. And you had something that triggered you, that put you down the wrong path, and then you had something that triggered you Absolutely. and put you down the right path. I wanna know for you, you're somebody who teaches people better habits and rituals to be healthier and happier and perform better. 
What are some of the ones that you either teach people or apply in your own life? Yeah, so the first thing is getting clear on where you want to go. This is, you can never, never, ever figure out and set a game plan yeah. if you don't know what the destination is going to be. And so whether it's my health, my relationships, my business, everything has a destination of where I want to go to tick that mark out the box. So I project in the future and I tell yeah. everyone to project in the future where they want to be because then we can go back and we could set up a game plan to get there. The other thing is figure out what your top three priorities are. It's just, it's one of the most biggest mistakes that I see. I've worked with personally 550 one-on-one -on -one clients throughout the last four and a half years. And through that time, I've realized that all of them didn't have clear top three priorities. So they were allowing the fifth, sixth, seventh priority in their life to trump over and make them fail at the top three. And so I generally have people roll them out as health is the number one, which is growing themselves. Yeah. And then second is their relationship because this is why they're building everything. This is what's motivating you to build that business. And if you don't take care of your health, your relationships aren't going to flourish. And, and you're not going to yeah. be able to show up. You're not going to be able to show up in your business. And you're going to be operating at a lower percentile than your, uh, than your ability, than your genetic ability. And then the third thing is going to be your business or impact. What's that thing that you're doing to impact the world, make your income so you can serve your family yeah. and be able to invest in yourself? So if health's one of the top primary values or should be one of the top primary values and things that people are working on consistently and wrap good habits and rituals around, why do you feel like even with all the information we have available, all the dietary plans, all the free information and coaching and advice for how to live a healthier life with our diet and with exercise, all for free, yeah, more than ever before in history, why are people more unhealthy than they've ever been before? It's just not about what you know. It really doesn't come down to, you can Google everything that I teach. I guarantee you, you can find it. Yeah. Everything that I teach, we're not experts at how to the newest technology in this and that. Yeah. We're experts at teaching people to apply what they know. And so what happens is if you get information, you don't apply it and don't produce a result, that actually creates unbelief in your mind that, hey, I got new information, I didn't apply it, it didn't work, and so next time I get new information, I'm not gonna apply it and it's not gonna work Which again. is why you hear, in, at least in the health space, right? Everybody that says, I tried every diet plan, they don't work, you yeah. know? And then I don't know what they say about going to the gym because there's no really excuse there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everyone always says, I tried every diet, it doesn't work. And yet they can't name more than usually two or yeah. three. And every person you talk to knows yeah. something they could be doing right now to be healthier than they currently are. So is it accountability then that people need the most support with? Well, accountability, that's a really good point, is yeah. that if you have accountability, someone doing something with you, you have a 66% higher chance of hitting your goal. And right mm -hmm. now, you know, this time of year, yeah. uh, you know, 97% of people right now will set a New Year's resolution of health and or 90% of the people that set that New Year's resolution will yeah, lose weight and then they'll actually gain more back than where they're at. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's such a big deal. Who would invest in something that or put into action something where there's a 97% chance of failure yeah. and a 97% chance of getting into a worse position? And so that's why our mission is, that's why we have our mission is because we want to make sure that these people have the resources to not only have the information, but apply yeah. it, see a result, which causes them to keep going. How can people learn to, like you've done and you've helped so many other people do, break free and shift into a new, healthier, more conducive environment to apply these new habits and rituals, especially around this time of New Year? And this is why health impacts every single area of your life, because you would never go, oh, I'm going to stop eating sugar and then have a cake and then have this pie yeah, and yeah. have it all in your fridge because even someone like me who's yeah. been through it all, has seen the other side, would still struggle with that problem. Because it's in your environment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I need to make sure that I'm separating myself from those things. But not only that, just getting stuff out of your environment doesn't work. You have to then yeah. replace mm -hmm. whatever that void is with something else. You never create a new habit. You just replace the habit with something else. People go, I got rid of this habit. Yeah. You stopped eating, but now you're smoking yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. or drinking. So Absolutely. So you need to always figure out and focus on where do you want to be and make sure you're creating an environment of where you want to go and not running away from the environment you don't want to be like. Because you yeah. see this in parents. You see this with t in tons of different situations where someone tries to be the opposite of their parent. 30 years later, they end up hearing like saying you're just like your you ended up just being like your mom instead of focusing on yeah. where you wanted to be so you always need to one cut it out set a new habit in place and focus on where you want to go rather than where you're running away from so on your journey so far you've obviously learned some great little tricks and tips and Absolutely. you know health hacks what are some practical ones those were great i want to know something right now like just drink a giant glass of water with some lemon in it in the morning. Like yeah. when I heard that and I started doing it, I was like, I feel so much better in the morning. Absolutely. Instead of the first thing I put in my body being coffee, 
I drink like water with lemon in it. So yeah. something like that. What are some like one or two or three little quick tips that somebody listening right now can apply? To, to answer that question, I first have to go, what's gonna move the needle the most? Cause that's what we wanna know as entrepreneurs. Yeah. What's gonna give me the biggest result? Everyone thinks working out nutrition, they go 70% nutrition, 30% working out. Yeah, yeah. Where's the rest of it, right? So we focus on breath first. If you wanna start seeing a result, start taking a deep breath in four seconds, hold it for four seconds, breath out four seconds, and then hold it again for four seconds. What second, that's gonna detox your body. Yeah. You literally detox 70% of your water through your breath. That's why you fog up all the mirrors. Yeah. But everyone thinks they need to go into a sauna. That's why we wake up sweat. so thirsty. Exactly. You breathe out, I think it's two liters. If you sleep for eight hours, you breathe out two liters of water, which is why you wake up so dehydrated. Exactly, and then the second thing would be the hydration. That's the yeah. second most important component to okay. seeing the results you want. So wake up, drink 30, 20 to 30 ounces of water before you have anything else. Mm -hmm. And then every hour you're awake, drink eight ounces of water. 75% of the people right yeah. now watching this are dehydrated. And For it decreases sure. their performance probably... by five to 10%. What's the, is it like a gallon of water a day is what you should be drinking approximately, right? Yeah, approximately, okay. it's a, depending on the person. Extra, yeah. one hour of working out, we usually do an extra 20 ounces of water. Okay. And only because it affects the areas of your life that you care about. Mm -hmm. You care about running a successful business and being able to perform higher than everyone else. And you care about being able to go home and serve a family or serve a relationship or start a relationship without having to gel out yeah. on the sofa every day after work. What do you feel like are three things all beginning entrepreneurs need to know? So <laughs> this is not gonna be the common thing that people say, yeah. but I want them to think about what's the hardest day of work you've ever had in your life? What's mm -hmm. the time that things didn't go right, everything failed? Yeah. And think of that and be okay with that for 10 years straight every single day. Like you have to be so willing yeah. to be able to go through that every single day before you start, because it might only take 30 days until you see success. You could be mm -hmm. someone like Mark Lack over here no. that just crushes <laughs> it right away. But It wasn't always that way, brother. But you have to be willing to, to go through that. And that's when you yeah. know that this is truly your calling, truly what you're passionate about, yeah. because you have to be okay in both situations. You have to be okay with making a million dollars in your first year and also going through your worst day every single Losing day. Losing a million dollars your first year. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And as long as you're content, you'll always be happy. Mm -hmm. But you see tons of people that want a high level of success, and that's what they're expecting, and they, they don't hit that, they're never happy. But yeah. if you're content on both sides, then you'll always be happy no matter what the result is, and you know you're called to that, and you yeah. go out there and work hard, work hard, work hard, and no matter what, hard work on the right things will always produce success. It's so true because so many people get caught up in putting this false expectation of happiness or significance or respect or the right relationships or whatever it may be yeah. when I achieve this. So you know, if this happens and I arrive at this destination, then I'll allow myself to feel happy or significant or loved or respected. Yeah. And the problem is most people disconnect from the journey enjoying the journey of who they become, which is all that ever matters, yeah. who you become and being happy on the journey. And the destination is simply a byproduct of it. The one thing that will be guaranteed is you'll get to the destination and you'll say, what's next? I know billionaires that have sat in that chair that have said yeah. the same thing, millionaires, celebrities, high achievers. Um, I've interviewed probably all the top achievers like under the sun in some category. And they all say the same thing. The Absolutely. destination is only that. You get there and you say, what's next? How can somebody stay focused, stay happy, and present in this moment on the journey and focus on who they're becoming more than what they're trying to achieve? Well, first is getting clear on who they are. You need to project yeah. in the future, and this is what I always did. I looked 20, 30, 40 years into the future, dreamt up who I saw myself being, and then started being that now. I didn't wait until the process of as soon yeah. as I make a million, as soon as I have a wife, as soon as I have this yeah, thing yeah. or this car, then I'll be able to really step out and be confident. Then I'll really feel solidified in who I am. I decided yeah. I know where I'm going. And so I'm pulling that person into the, into the past or I'm pulling it in the present right now. Yeah. And I'm becoming that guy that I see myself being. And I believe that's a big part of the people's success that's out huge. there right now is that they need to believe that they have what it takes to achieve what they want instead of just falling into these things where they're buying products and buying mm -hmm. these things that they think is gonna be that key that's gonna unlock their success. You're the key that's gonna unlock your success and you have it inside of you already. So I love that you brought that up because I truly believe the best resources out there are emotional states and you help people feel their best in those emotional states so they can perform better. What's been one of like the worst people you've had to work with in the sense of so much struggle of like not taking action no matter what you told them to do? Give me like a worst case scenario for a health client you've had to work with. Yeah, so the worst is when we 
enroll them into one of our coaching programs yeah. and we don't pre-qualify that it's going to be hard and they need to be able to apply because if you don't apply nothing's going to change and so worst case scenario is if someone just doesn't do what we say right that's mm -hmm. just the biggest thing that i think one of the biggest things holding people back today is that they're not coachable they want to act like they're successful and that keeps them from learning more you, the most successful people just like yourself that i've mm -hmm. talked to are always willing to learn and always looking to learn and so the worst case scenario has always been because i'm so passionate about helping yeah. people is that if they don't apply what we tell them and that's why we have to focus on it's not about the information it really isn't mark lack and i both know something we could yeah. be doing right now to be healthier to be more successful to have better relationship yeah it's about how do we apply what we know experience a result and that's where commitment comes in this is the mm -hmm. biggest thing that our company is founded on is trust and commitment commitment is doing what you said you were going to do after the feeling you said it in is past. I love that. Saying, so yeah. right now, it sounds fun to be healthy until it doesn't. And that's where commitment keeps you going. And what's, mm -hmm. what's crazy is that people don't want, they don't uh, do the thing when they don't feel like it, right? We don't mm -hmm. want to do it because I'm like, I don't feel like it. In that state, we won't take action. And what happens if you take action on that thing, on the other side is that feeling that you were looking for the entire mm -hmm. time but no one makes it through the other side when they don't feel like it. Yeah. So have commitment and do things after you said you were gonna do it. What a fantastic way to end it, Nick. Pleasure to have you on the show, brother. One last Thanks thing, so much, where can people learn about you, get more information about you? Yeah, so Facebook, Billion Dollar Body, facebook.com slash Billion Dollar Body, Billion Dollar Body on Instagram, and then Nicholas Barely. Anyone who reaches out to me on nicholas at the billion dollar body .com, I'll reply to everyone, and I'm looking forward to getting to know them. Thanks for coming on the show, brother. Thank you. I'm Mark Lack. This is Business Rockstars. We connect a community of entrepreneurs. So you can join us on Facebook, Twitter, and online at businessrockstars.com.